Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is Tuesday, March 26th. If you're watching this live, please let me know if you can hear me. Okay, I'm still waiting for that first thumbs up or that first comment. There we go. Hi, Tammy. So you can hear me okay? And let's see, what am I doing? Let's take this off of here. And I'm gonna go right here for a second until everybody gets here. There's Carol. I'm just waiting to see if if uh little little if anyone from Facebook is on here yet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paste command V the live chick candy link. Hello there. How are y'all doing? Uh, while we're waiting on everyone to get here, I'm gonna go ahead and pin that um, um, that link to the top, so y'all can find the. Um, the live prize drawing. Okay, let's pin it now. Pin message. Okay, there y'all are. I'm doing good. Okay, so yes, I did look, uh, I'm happy to hear you guys are getting your card club packets. I hope you um, enjoy making your cards. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I said this last week that getting out of the house and leaving uh, made made such a huge difference. Like it was so good to get a, get away from the house and go be around people um, that were super nice. We just had such a great time at on stage. Yeah, and since I've come home, I've been stamping and working, and with the new catalog. Uh, those of us that are demonstrators, the new catalog period is so fabulous. Like it's just like it's like Christmas time when we get new product, right? Yeah, we love it. Um, if you're watching over on Facebook, um, you may have a difficult time getting that um, link to um, enter to win the live prizes. Uh, if you can look at the comment section, um, you should be able to get the link there. Okay, so Kathy got her card club packet today too. Yay, good. And you guys won't believe this, but I've already filmed the video for April's card club. The projects are so cute, and I know they're a little bit different than what I normally do, but I really need happy things in my life right now, and the projects, the cards that we're making just are so fun. In fact, we're gonna be using that same stamp set. Um, I haven't sent y'all an email yet about the stamp set for April. It's on my list. It was on my list today and I lost track of time, but we are using the Submarine Life for, um, for April Card Club. Yeah, it's so fun. But tonight we're using this and then we're also gonna be using this. So hopefully you guys are not in a hurry. We're gonna be making three projects tonight. So this is what I'm calling my March class. And um, I'll share all the details as we're, as we're making the projects. So we're kinda of gonna go ahead and get started because like I said, we're making three projects. Um, now we are gonna be offering live prizes and I'm gonna show those to you um, wait, did I leave them in the other room? <laughs> okay, well, and here I was all organized. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, here I was thinking I was all organized, and then turns out I wasn't as organized as I thought. So the first prize tonight, well, this is the live drawing, okay? Regency Park Designer Series Paper uh, Sampler, Garden Walk Paper Sampler, that's number two. Number three is going to be a roll of Calypso Coral 
trim. And number four is the Bloom and Pearls. So we will do the drawing for these at the very, very end, okay? Then our YouTube Chick Candy is coming back, and I'll explain that in just a little bit. So we're gonna set that aside. Um, this is a class pack. It is, it is gonna be available to purchase. It's going to include even this bag. So it's gonna include everything that you see here. So all the supplies to make the three projects we're making tonight. 12 sheets of the Sunny Days Designer Series paper that, that measure six by six. A half a pack of the opaque gems and then a full roll of this pool party ribbon that we're gonna be using on all three projects. This has already been posted over on my website, so all the details are um, in my chick shop. So if you can't find it, let me know. I'll share the link with y'all in just a little bit. This paper was part of our celebration offering, and we're gonna be using um, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, so we're using, you're getting 12 sheets, you're getting Two of, um, two of each design, and we're only using uh, four, so you're gonna have a lot of leftover paper. I love this pack of paper. It is so my style, right? My colors, Pool Party's one of my most favorite colors. So this is using, um, I cannot remember, I think it's box template 141, and uh, that will be posted on my website. That's not gonna be exclusive um to just the class right how much is it i think with shipping because shipping um shipping is a very important thing nowadays very important i say it's very expensive it's important and expensive right so the die cutting will be done for you for the items that um are not required I, we can't do stamped images in our kits so of course you're going to need the images to um stamp and cut with the punch so this is a cute box um and the template is already ready but i did not i did not bring it with me okay so first thing we're going to do this little piece right here is notched on the corner and that means this is your piece for stamping we're going to be using um berry burst is that right berry burst it don't even sound right um daffodil delight pumpkin pie and pretty peacock so i'm gonna get those now um let's see not pool party not real red we are using these colors in a little bit daffodil berry burst i said the name right didn't i and then pumpkin pie Oh, I need my stamps too. I probably should have already lined these up. This one goes here. This one goes here. That's not the right one. Um, that one there and that one. If you're just arriving, we're using two stamp sets. Hooray for surprises. Oh wait, let me move my big old head out of the front and center. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I caught that. That would be terrible. Slide this down, right? Um, okay, where where'd y'all go? Where's my comments at? Huh. Okay, there y'all are. They are happy colors, right? Yes, that's why. Yes. Anyway, um, let's start stamping because I could just rattle on forever. David, of course, is gone again, um, which I'm not really going to complain, but um, it is just me, myself, and I. Now i got to turn my fan on. I should have known that when I put the, um, when I put my sweatshirt on that I was going to get hot. David laughs at me because he's like, okay, one minute you got the fan going, and then the next you're freezing. It's just back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so the punch, when you go to use this punch, this is at the top. So I'm gonna ink this up. I like to ink these images up like this, upside down. So 
So the packets are going to be pretty similar to what I do for Card Club, but yet different. Um, now we're going to stamp the propeller. And I want to look at the image. So the rounded image is at the top. So I'm going to use Berry Burst for that one. Wait, did I stamp that? Goodness gracious, Angie. I went off the page, or the map. And then now we're going to do the hello. How did I do that? Okay, here we go. And then the flag. See, you have lots of extra paper. I have to close these up because I don't want them to dry out, right? Y'all know, y'all are stampers. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one out using the Submarine Life. So this is like, like an airplane instead of a submarine. And then the propeller. I guess that's what that's called. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah, I filmed the videos already uh, on Sunday for April Card Club. I'm like, okay, I just got to get stuff done. With the new catalog and everything, I cannot get behind. Okay, so I'm going to fussy cut that. And I'm going to use my uh, small trimmer to cut out the greeting. Let's see, let's cut it this way first. I left a, a little bit of room. And you know what, I need this to be smaller. Okay, now trim this. Uh, I can trim it a little bit more, okay. And then we're gonna angle cut the end. That part's done. And these big pieces I'm going to put in my basic white tub so that I can reuse them. Now let's fussy cut this flag. So here's our images. So we woke up to it being really cold in Kansas again. Like it's a whole whopping like 30 degrees. And like a month ago, it was 60 and 70. <laughs> David's in Texas, and he said that it was like 22 there today. He only took a light jacket. Okay, where's our box? So let's look at this. So what we want, literally, what we want to do now is go ahead and cut our designer series paper. Uh, yeah. These are not the Card Club projects. This is a just a special class packet that I'm making. Um, again, just trying to figure out different ways to um, increase the sales. Yeah, so this is just a special packet, but we are using the Submarine Life for Card Club for April. And if you have to unsubscribe for April, I have no hard feelings. Yeah, the April stamp set is Submarine Life. And we use almost every image. I think the only image we don't use is You Are Sublime and These Three Fish. I think every, every, every other image we use. Yeah, a lot of fun, happy colors. Okay, so we want to cut our designer series paper in your class packet if you get it. Uh, you do get the full sheet, so you're going to have to cut it. So I like to always um, show that in the video instead of doing it in advance because if I do it in advance, then you guys are maybe going to expect me to, to do the same for the packets, and I don't. I never cut the designer series paper. Okay, so that is two and three quarters by three. I want to make sure that my measurements are right because it just doesn't look right. Yep, it's three. I went to the container store and got myself another super large, <laughs> it's called an over 50 ruler, right? Uh, and the next one's going to measure three quarter inches, 
three quarter um, by two and three quarters. Oh, it already is two and three quarters. What am I doing? Yeah. So you have all this left over for extra paper. Okay. What is blocking the blocking my trimmer there? So we've got everything ready to make our box. So I'm gonna get my Simply Scored scoring tool. So I'm not the only one that it, the weather got colder, right? You guys will also get the little binder clip in your packet. Okay, on the nine and a half inch side, we are going to score at a half an inch, three and a half, five, and eight. On the six and a half inch side, we're going to score at one and a half, four and three quarters, and five and three quarters. Okay, need my bone folder. So we're going to fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. turn my fan off now plus I, I'm getting ready to list to hear those uh, coyotes huh, have something on my paper there so now we're gonna cut this template now it does have a fancy template that I will post on my website tomorrow but here's the quick and dirty one okay so we're gonna put our half inch oh I did these backwards hmm. oh well it still works the same way, I think. So we're going to cut that part off and then cut this part off. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a knucklehead. I mean, I just turned it over. Okay, so cut up to the score line, cut up to the score line and cut up to the score line. So this is the bottom of our box. And then we want to angle cut this one and this one. Up here at the top, on every one of these score lines, we're gonna cut down to that second score line. This is the top of our box. Okay. So now, looking at the template, let me get it right here so y'all can see it. <laughs> Did I say knucklehead? Sometimes I am a knucklehead, yeah. Um, okay, so we are not going to touch this one. We're going to move over to this block, and we are going to cut straight across that score line. And we're going to skip this and do the same thing here. And then we want to angle cut these also. I didn't do a very good job of cutting a straight line, did I? I want to blame it on the lights. Huh, that's even more crooked. Oh well. Angle cut this one. And then what we're going to do now is use our corner rounder for the top of this. Now you don't have to do this for this box if you don't want to. I like how it looks when you round the corners. And now this one. I like to get those scraps out from under there when I go to do the next side, just so it don't interfere. Okay. So now we're going to use our tear and tape. Hi there. It was nice to see you too. Um, that was Pat. So um, Debbie is asking a question about retirement items. What is your 
what is your question? I do have a really nice retirement list posted over on my website. I cleaned it up. The font is larger. Um, the sale on the retirement items does not start until April 9th. Some items are going to be sold out before they ever go on sale. So if you have your heart set on anything, uh, in fact, there's a couple things that have already sold out. Yeah. So now I'm going to put uh, tear and tape on this piece right here. I call that the front bottom, right? Um, so there's a question. Yeah, sometimes my email does go into spam. Absolutely. Um, uh, Gretchen, what are you trying to view? Oh, it's storming in Michigan. Sometimes I like storms. It stormed yesterday, but I was I was working so hard I didn't even get to enjoy the storm. <laughs> That's pretty funny, isn't it? Okay, so now we are going to add our designer series paper. I wish this paper carried over. I just love it so much. I did stockpile it so that I could offer it. Um, Oh no, I hope I have enough liquid glue to make this project tonight. I might have to jump up and get some because um, when I was doing the card club videos on Sunday, I was I was running out at that point. Wait, this is going the wrong direction. Here we go. Let me pull up the template and I'll tell you what this box measures. So I do, like I said, I already made the template today. Um, let's see, open recent, box template 141. This box measures three inches by three and a quarter by one and a half. Okay, let me hold this here and let this dry. So it will, nope, it won't hold that. I don't know what it'll hold. I should have looked that up today. Y'all remind me when, we, when we're when we done to see what will fit in here. So to keep it closed, you're gonna use the binder clip that I'm including in the packet. And then now, we just have to add our images. So we're using a, a lot of Stampin' Dimensionals. Let's see, we're going to add or assemble the sun, so we're just going to put a little bit of liquid glue on that. Got to make sure I'm in the camera. Yep, I am. Uh, Gretchen, the video for Card Club is on the website. When you get your class pack or your Card Club packet, there's a link in there. I also have emailed it to you. Um, it's on a membership site, so... Yeah, it's on a membership site, and I've added you. And the link is in, I emailed you the link, and it's also in the, um, um, on the, on the uh, insert that comes with your class packet. I always send you a full page insert that includes a picture of each project. Oh, what did I have to close that for? I need to add the, uh, the propeller and the flag. So I'm going to do a smear of liquid glue. And I'm going to brush on the adhesive and then place this here like that and let that dry. And the same thing for the flag. I'm just going to brush on some adhesive and add that there and give that a second to dry. I can see I didn't get enough adhesive. So we're going to add the sun first, right up here in the corner. Rut row, where's my cloud? Here we go. Come here. And 
then flip that over and add, hey, where's my regular ones? Here they are. And this goes here, right? Yep. And then this is going to get added right there. So we're just going to put two Stampin' Dimensionals on this one. I'm going to add one there and then one in the middle. And then all we have left to add is the ribbon and the greeting. And we add an embellishment as well. So I just took the hello and kind of clipped it under here. You could use a glue dot if you want and add it permanently. And then now our ribbon. Well, this is kind of, this is like a little mini airplane instead of a submarine. Like it's, like it's a, it's a, a hot air balloon, not a hot air balloon. You know, like, um, what's that thing that, uh, the blimp, the Goodyear blimp. Do you know what I'm talking about? So like the submarine goes the other direction. This is like, um, am I making sense? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like a, a Goodyear blimp instead of a submarine. Yeah. I should have explained that earlier. Yeah, it's like a flying blimp, and I'm not sure that's the right term. Yeah, blimp. Yeah, that's the right term, right? Just like this can be turned into a balloon, uh, which my card club ladies are going to see. You just got to trim it a little and then it becomes a balloon. Okay, I need a glue dot. And we're going to add one of those embellishments because the embellishments do come in the class packet. Now ignore mine. Um, because they got all wonky in the in the shipping and I can still use them none of them are damaged so I kept them and I just used one on this project but you could put as many as you as you want pretty cute right <laughs> I should have explained that beforehand yeah, and I don't, the flag just kind of, you know, I, you could just put a little bird up here flying if you wanted to. Um, we do use the bird in one of our cards for card club, but I think it's super, super fun, right? How can you not smile when you look at this project? Okay, now, if you didn't want to use the, um, the blimp, <laughs> you could just put him on this page, right? You could just stamp him and stick him right smack dab in the middle. Yeah, because he has his coordinating dies. So now we're gonna make one of the card, the first card, and I just absolutely love this card. I think you guys are gonna love it too. I know you're gonna love it. Here's the first card that we're making. Isn't it beautiful? It just makes me so happy. And the packet for this one is here. So I'm going to take all the pieces out. Now, wait a second. What did I do with my card base? I've lost it. Oh, I put it in card number two. There's two card bases in card two. <laughs> I was trying to be so organized. Um, okay, so I went ahead and stamped the birthday cake in real red first. And I have let that dry, okay? So that's step one of making this uh, birthday cake is you're gonna stamp it in real red. And then this is notched out, which means this is your piece for stamping. And I know I said we were gonna stamp, or we were gonna cut our paper first, but we'll get to that. Um, we're gonna stamp the other birthday cake. Let me move some things out of my, I don't need the box template anymore. I can move that. And I need pool party ink. Now I'm gonna use my pool party spot because, ruh -roh, because my pool party ink pad is gnarly. And um, I did order myself a new one, but it's not here yet. So I'm gonna use my spot. If you guys have the same problem as me, use your spot. 
Okay, that's clean. Uh, Denise says, do I have any info on the Stampin' Rewards going away? Uh, Denise, I do have some information. If you'd like for me to give you a call, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. It's kind of not, it's kind of too much information to talk about on a live video tonight, especially when they haven't uh, released all the information. Yeah. So I'll be happy to talk to you uh, about it. Okay. So here's the pool party one. And you can see that maybe all the real red ink is not off of there because it looks a little purplish. Um, yeah, there's going to be customer rewards. They're just taking away the stamping rewards. Okay, that one's better. Now, we're done with that. Now, this circle right here, we're going to stamp Make a Wish with Real Red. <laughs> Lisa says she's watching me on the big screen. Oh, that seems so stressful. I think I've seen myself once on a big screen. I'm like, oh, that's too much. Okay, I'm going to stamp Make-A-Wish down here at the bottom. Oh, I didn't mess it up. Thank goodness. And then I'm going to close that ink pad. And now we're going to get the dies. So here's the dies that we're using tonight. We're using the um, deckled circles, which I already, already cut that out. Uh, the bright, what's it called? Bright Skies. Hooray for surprises, and I believe bright skies. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. So, I'm getting this little hooray for surprises cake. And then I need my little mini, my little mini machine. And get my cutting plates. They haven't released all the information about the Stampin' Rewards. Um, that's part of the reason why some of y'all are still confused because they haven't released all the information about it. It is going to a straight 10%. It's kind of like the new program is going to be like Kohl's Cash, except it doesn't expire in a week. Okay? So that's going to be for demonstrators and customers. So just think Kohl's Cash. What did I do with the die? Um... Yeah, just think Cole's cash, and so it's going to be for everyone. Um, yeah, everyone's going to get rewarded because it's going to be like Cole's cash, except you can't use it on that, that initial order. You have to use it on a following order. So it's not an instant reward. It's a on your next order, or you can stockpile them and redeem them whenever you want. You don't have to use them on your next order. Okay, so we've cut out the birthday cake and pool party. Now we're going to cut out the, the real red one. So are y'all doing anything fun for Easter this weekend? You got any big plans? Oh, I just noticed I kind of cut that out a little bit crooked, didn't I? That's okay. David's dad is um, having some tests done at the hospital on um, on Monday. So we are actually headed down so that he can so he can take him for his full day of testing. So we actually won't ah come back here. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. We or woo woo, I can't talk. This is gonna go here, but what we're gonna do is trim with your paper snips, we're just gonna cut out the middle part of the cake. And it might take you a couple attempts to do this so that it looks right. So I'm gonna tell you, it took me a couple tries before I was able to get it to line up, but practice makes perfect in almost everything, right? Just like coloring. See how that's going to work like that? It's lined up. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue. Oh, I wish I was going to Tennessee. I'm going to be going in August because my sister's getting married. Yeah, I'm going to be going in August when it's really nice and hot, right?
Okay, give that a second to dry. Oh, happy birthday, Yvette. Oh, Shirley gets to go meet her grandniece. That's exciting. Chris gets to meet her little grandson for the first time. So David's birthday was um, Sunday, and Olivia and Chase and Jessica and Brooke, everybody came over. And let me tell y'all something. I have a big basket of toys for Olivia that I keep in our closet. So when she comes over, I bring this big basket out. And when she leaves, I go put it back in our master closet. So when she got here the other day, I said, oh, I forgot to get your basket of toys. I said, come on, let's go get it. And she followed me walking all the way to my closet. And I picked up the basket and she followed me all the way from the closet, all the way back to the living room with her little feet patting on the floor. Oh my gosh, it just, oh, it warms my heart so much. I can't even tell you. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Yes, she followed me. So that's like the first time ever that's like she's followed me like that. Like she, and like she set her cup down and I said, oh no, pick up your cup. Let's bring your cup with you. And she bent right down and picked it up and brought it with her. It's like, oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, this is going to get attached with liquid glue. Sorry, I got all excited there, but I had to share that. She, um, she sat next to David when we were eating, and um, he had he had not shaved because he was on a fishing tournament this weekend, and I said, I took my hand and I rubbed his face, and I said, ooh, scratchy, and I did it like three or four times, and then, and then she gave me her hand, and I put her hand on his cheek, and then she kept rubbing it, and I was like, scratchy. It was so cute. I just love this age. Um, okay, I cut myself an extra circle for just in case I messed up. I'm happy to say I did not. So now we're going to cut the designer series paper. And this measures, let's see, this is card number one. So we're going to cut this to measure four by five and a quarter. So four inches by five and a quarter. Now, before we attach this uh, to the front, we need to wrap our ribbon around this layer, okay? Now, if you don't wanna waste your ribbon, uh, there's ways around it. So let me show you what I do, is I put a little bit of Stampin' Seal Plus, and then I wrap this Okay, I didn't put it in the right spot though. Because <laughs> I think I want it in the middle, right? Yeah, I want it in the middle. <laughs> Sorry guys. Now don't make it so tight that it bows. Okay, so now, this is the way you save ribbon. And then now you can tie a bow. Let's do it from this direction, this way. It's been a while since I've done this. Hopefully I'm not confusing y'all. Just don't pull too hard, because then you're gonna you're going to rip it, right? Isn't that beautiful? Did for a second did y'all think I was messing up? Now you can slide this over, see? Now we're gonna glue this to the card front, to the base. Wow, Becky, you're gonna be an ant for the 10th time? That is amazing, wow. Whew, 10, that's a lot of birthday parties and what have you, isn't it? Mm. 
Okay, we're going to hold this for a second. So Deb says that's how she usually makes her bows. Yeah, it saves on ribbon, right? And you can also get it to, like, you get it, it I don't know, it looks good like that, right? Okay, so now this layer, let me make sure this is the same layer. For some reason, everything just looks like it's the wrong measurement tonight. I don't know why. It just does. Everything looks like it's smaller than what it's supposed to be. Every night, the, did I tell y'all this already? I may be repeating myself. If I am, I'm sorry. I've been in this house too much. Like the whole month of March, David has been gone, but his travels are about to end. It was like the whole month of March, and then he won't be as traveling. He won't be traveling as much in um in a in a April. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, dimensionals. Where are they? Right here. So anyway, the coyotes. Every single night, um, they. I think the last two times I've been live on a Tuesday, they've been back there howling. Um, but, um, last night, no sooner than they started, a car came and completely interrupted them. So it was like, I only got to hear them for like 10 seconds and then the car scared them and they stopped, but they are definitely in the backyard. I'd like to record them. David on Sunday tried to. And he went to open the door, and I said, "Don't open the door. They'll um, they'll stop yipping, yapping, yipping, yipping. I don't know what it's called." Um, he opened the door, and of course, they stopped. I told him they're very smart. They um, they're incredibly smart, and they have amazing hearing. So we watch them all the time. They'll they'll see a car coming, and they'll they'll jump into the fence line and hide. And then when the car goes by, they come right back out again. Like they're really smart. Now all we have left is the embellishments. How are we doing on time? Yeah, not too long. So we'll be able to get all three um, card, all three projects made um, probably within an hour, right? Hey, my thing slid over. Uh, this time I'm gonna move this one because the bow is gonna cover it up. Um, I'm gonna put it mm -hmm, over here, yeah. Okay, so what do you think about that card? So beautiful, isn't it? I just love the colors. So now let me show you the third card. Some of you guys are probably going to like the third card even better than um, the second one because it has flowers. So here's the second card. You know, I really do need to get a trail camera. I should do that. Because there's all kinds of animals back there. Yeah, all kinds of animals. Okay, so for the final card, uh, this is um, the materials for this project. Let me move this out of the way because that has nothing to do with that one. And here's all the pieces. Even the little flowers. Okay, we're gonna take a little commercial break for just a second because um, I'm gonna show you the live, not, this is not the live, the live chick candy is gonna be uh, at the end of the video. But right now I wanna share with you the, um, I'm just gonna put the flyer up because I can't talk. What is this? Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Um, here it is. So this is YouTube Chick Candy 150. And it includes, well, I guess I have to take that off the screen for y'all to see what it includes, right? Um, it includes the Bright Skies stamp set, the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series Paper Sampler. So this is from the up, up and coming catalog that you, unless you're a demonstrator, you can't order from it yet, right? Well, only demonstrators that didn't go to on stage um, y'all can start ordering when, uh, April 2nd. Yeah. And then the 2022 in color dots. So this is what we're giving away. And the way you enter to win is you leave a comment on this video 
after the video is ended. So not the chat box that's currently up right now. It's the comment section. And I will announce the winner next Tuesday um, on my live video. Yeah. So there's that. And if you want... Let me take that off the screen. If you want to... Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Here we go. If you guys want more information about the... Um, the class packet. I'm going to get that link for you right now. I'm going to post it in the chat box. And if you can't find it later, just shoot me an email. Um, if you place an order using the host code, all the details will be posted on my website tomorrow. I just couldn't get to it today, guys, because I had to get all this stuff organized. So all the details will be available tomorrow. I don't want to butcher what I'm what I'm saying, I don't want to say the wrong thing, right? I don't want to say the wrong thing. So there's going to be two options. The PDF is going to be free with the class packet and it's free with a minimum order or it'll be available for a, for a small price. Um, okay, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Give me just a second. <sighs> My internet's slow, probably because I'm live right now, right? Here we go. Uh, I just noticed that the glue is behind my head. Okay, here we go. Here's the link. Oh, Command C. And the chat box is right here. Command V. And uh, Shirley asked if there was going to be any plans for bingo. I am trying really hard. Uh, Shirley, I cannot give you an answer yet because my next CAT scan is April 15th. And then I have to schedule the surgery to get that mass off my kidney, which is going to be a major surgery, like a three-hour surgery. So I'm kind of sort of thinking about delaying it. But if it's grown, I have no choice but to have it removed. Yeah. So if I got to have surgery in May, I can't start bingo until after I've recovered from that. Yeah. Okay. So I am still... Um, trying to fit it into my schedule. It's just life just keeps throwing curveballs at me. Yeah, curveballs everywhere. So this card, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut the designer series paper. You're using two of the pieces in the packet, okay? And the first pattern is this one. And, well, I don't need my keyboard. I need my trimmer. <laughs> I brought my keyboard over here thinking that was the trimmer. So we're going to cut this to measure four this way <laughs> four by five and a quarter let me get the right measurements yep yeah. by five and a quarter and then this piece here um, measures three by three So you're going to have lots of extra, you're going to have a lot of extra paper because you're getting 12 total sheets, two of each pattern in your packet. Now, we're going to take this piece here and we are going to attach it to this 3x3 three three piece of basic white because we just want to make that um, thicker. Does that make sense? And if it's off by a hair, then you can just put it on your trimmer and, and trim it. Oops. Slide that into place. And then give that a second to dry. Okay. There's that. Now this one is going to get the ribbon around it. So we can do it the same way or we can do it the traditional way, which is, um, let's see if I can master this. I haven't done it this way in a while. I typically do the, the faux ribbon just to save. Let's see. Actually, you know what we just did? Okay. And then just slide it so that it's okay. 
I didn't mess it up. I did good. I need to trim it a little bit more. Oh, I cut it crooked. Okay. Now, this is just going to get glued right on the front. And make sure that you put adhesive around that ribbon so that it gets... <sighs> I might be able to finish this with just my liquid glue that's running out. So did y'all print your list of the um, product that's going to be increasing in price? Um, overall, I feel like it's not too terrible. Some items are only increasing by 25 cents. Some items are increasing by 50, some are a dollar, and then some are 250. But for the most part, you know, I think it's pretty, not too bad is what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, now we've got our ribbon, our focal point here. We're going to build this and we need to use this piece here to uh, do our stamping, which is just this image here. Because the flowers, the little teeny tiny flowers, I've already cut those out and I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Blend marker. You can use, um, Daffodil Delight, or you can use Lemon Lolly, or you can use Crushed Curry, whatever marker you have to color the center of the flower. So I'm just going to take, um, sorry, my eyes are really blurry. Let me blink a few times. Aren't those so cute? Okay, we'll set those aside now. And then now we're going to stamp the flower. And here's the flower. And we're using real red. We have not used that color yet. Or maybe we did and I closed it. I don't remember. And this image too. Now I'm going to warn you. <sighs> I re-inked this pad earlier. I don't know how it's going to stamp. It's... It might look good and it might look gnarly. I don't know. I'm not the best at re-inking my pads. I don't know what the secret is, but yes, it looks good. <laughs> I know that's kind of silly to be so excited about stamping an image and not messing it up, but huh, what can I say? It's the little things, right? And I probably should have made note about um how to cut this out so excuse me while i twist and turn this thing until i figure out how to cut this out i know there's a secret somebody tell me what the secret is there we go there's that's it right there so here's what i do i line it up like on my paper right and then and then I place it in the die cut machine after I get it lined up. I mean, after I get it taped down. I'm running out of my, um, well, I'm not running out. I've still got more of this tape, but I usually keep it on top of my machine. Okay, let me get the mini again. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. Oh, did y'all see anything that I just did? Do I need to repeat anything? Sorry, tell me. Somebody tell me. What do I need to, what do I need to repeat? I don't even remember when I added that. Oh, sorry. Do I need to repeat anything? Did y'all see how I did this? How I lined it up? I'm good? Sorry about that. I always do that every week. It's like I need a timer. Maybe I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll get myself a timer. So that way, <laughs> I'll set it every time. That way I'll remember to remove it. Yeah. 
I always mess up something every single week. So that's my mess up. Hopefully that'll be the only one tonight. Think, I don't think we need this anymore, so I can put this away, too. Did y'all see me tie the bow on the ribbon, or did I, or was I blocked in that, too? I'm pretty sure you didn't get to see me stamp the image, because that was probably smack dab in the middle. I don't know. There's the flower, and I want to save my tape, because you can just keep reusing that tape. Okay, now. Oh, I forgot to stamp the greeting. Come back here, Scrap. The greeting is going to be stamped in Memento Ink. And it too, it's on this Hooray for Surprises. Oh, where is it? For you, right there. Okay, you were able to see it. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Because that's one of the things I I said on the on my cell page is that you the video will be available as a replay, and then the PDF will be available as well. So, whew, I'm glad I don't have to refilm the video. And then now I just need to trim this. I think that's okay, right? Now, we want to take our flowers and separate them. Not flowers, stems, leaves, whatever these are called. And um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to my focal point piece. Okay, and then this, of course, is going to go in the center, so then I'm just going to add glue uh, to the stems. Well, that's too much. You can tell it's at the, it's at the end of its life, the liquid glue, I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm going to have one coming out to the right of it. And then one coming out from the left. And then one on the bottom. And I made the one on the bottom shorter. Let's see. A lot shorter. There we go. And then now you can just put a dimensional on the back to pop it up and to kind of hold those down, right? And I'm I'm going to use two just to make sure. Yeah, that looks good. Because we still have our little flowers to add to. Oops, I have glue stuck on my fingers now. And the little mini flowers, we're going to add those with um, mini dimensionals. This will be the hardest part is flipping this flower over. There's one. And two. Now, I'm saying the class packet's going to be available until the 31st of March or while supplies last. I will be keeping a close eye on it. So if for some reason it sells out, but I don't think I've ever had that problem. So I do have a lot of them. I decided to stockpile the things I love so that I could offer a class later. So that's why I, I chose 
getting these every single time so that I could offer a class. Okay, this one's gonna go up there. And then this one down here. And then this one here. And we're gonna add our greeting after we add this to our card. So I am gonna pop this layer up with regular dimensionals. Do I have a favorite essential oil? You know, I actually really like the peppermint one that, um, I really like the peppermint one. I've been taking it with me in places. And like when I get stressed out, I just put a little bit of it on, on my wrist right here. I don't even know if that's the scent um, that I'm supposed to use um, for being stressed out. But I have, yeah, I actually carry it in my purse. It's just a little, it has a little roller ball. Yeah, I like the peppermint. And then the final step is our embellishments. So we're using three of these again. You're getting a half a pack in the class packet, so you're gonna have plenty of them. And I'm doing another smallie down here. Okay, so let's do a recap of all the projects and then um, and then we'll I'll answer some questions and we'll do the live prizes. So here is card number two. And the only thing I messed up really was um, not taking that graphic off the screen. So here's all three projects. Aren't they so cute? You know, I'm I'm not I, I'm not much of a fan of lavender. I don't know why. Um, I know my sister's allergic to it. I like it okay, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. So y'all like it? Thank you. Yeah, I think they're. Let's see. Yeah, this is how I did it on my graphic, right? Yeah, I think they make me very happy. And like I said, if you don't, like if you, even if you were to get the class packet and you didn't get the Submarine Life um, stamp set, well, you could just take this little dude and put him right there, right? You don't have to use the same stamp sets as me. Um, although I do think that's really cute. Uh, if you're a pass card club member, how do you get there? Okay, I'm going to type it on the screen for you real quick. Um, I'm going to give you the link to the website because the only, anybody can go to that website. Um, let me, let me type this real quick. Stampclubonline.com. There you go. There's the link to where the card club, whoa, here's the link to the card club website. Okay. Just go there, use your login credentials, and you can access any month that you were a member. Yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, and you can email me anytime. Uh, yeah. But that's the website, Stamp Club Online. And every single month, like, um, every single month when you guys get Card Club, I send you that insert sheet that has a picture of every card and at the very bottom it says the website. It says Stamp Club Online and it says that I've emailed you your login credentials. And your login credentials never change unless you change them. Yeah, I don't change your login information. I do set your account up for you though because it's your first name and last name with no spaces, and then whatever password you guys want. You guys can change your password as often as you want, but um, yeah, there's the website. Um, and you always have, um, well, I think the blimp is right side up because if it's a submarine, oh, is it the wrong, did I do it the wrong way? Well, let's see.
I don't know. I, I'm, 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 I'm keeping it this way. I'm, I'm overthinking it. I don't know. When it's a submarine, is this, is this how it looks as a submarine? I don't know. I'm all confused now. Uh, where did I get my mini keyboard? This is, uh, wow, look at the glue on the bottom of this. This is the keyboard that comes with my Mac, my iMac. So I have the pink iMac. So I have the pink the pink mouse and the pink keyboard and the pink cords. Yeah, everything is pink on the pink iMac. Even the charge cords are pink. Isn't that so awesome? I used to always say that the Apple people only made products for dudes because when they retired the white uh, I, uh, MacBook, I was like, grr, the white one's my most favorite. Uh, they still only make MacBooks really for dudes, dude colors, right? <laughs> Sarah says she knows because her father-in-law flew it. Oh, well, uh, we'll pretend that it's, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just pretend. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is technically, well, then who said earlier that it was an upside-down submarine? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the propeller should be in the back? Oh. Oh, you're right. Well, yeah, it's pretend. <laughs> Debbie says a yellow submarine can do anything it wants. Yes, thank you, it can. Um, where did I get the guillotine cutter? Um, Emily, I have a link to it on Amazon, but I did get it on Amazon. It is made by Fisker, so you might actually be able to get it at Michael's or whatever. I don't know, but I do have the link to it if you want to send me um, an email. Yeah. So we're going to do live prizes now. Just Google the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> it's going to really mess up my box. I'm just going to pretend it's right. <laughs> uh, the hatch is, yeah, I'm not an engineer. Um, <laughs> I just think it looks really cute. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, well, mice can be gray though, right? They can be gray. But sometimes what we color things is not in the realm of possibilities. Yeah, thank you. This color is called I Believe in Manicures and it's made by OPI. So that's the name of it. I Believe in Manicures. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do now is the live prizes. Um, if um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shut off the form now. And so if you haven't entered to win, you got about one minute. I'm going to uh, hop over there real quick and uh, I'm going to share my screen to draw the prizes. Okay. So give me just a second to um, shut that form off. And then I'm going to use Wheel of Names to uh, draw the winners. I gotta delete last week's and then let me get last week's or this week's prizes. Okay, I'm shutting off the form now. Boom, it is officially inactive. And then now I'm gonna go get the entries. And live chick candy. Name, email, and comment and download. And today's date is 3-26. Oh, I have a dimensional. Um, save. Okay, one more minute and then I'm going to share my screen. I just got to pull up this spreadsheet. And copy. How many entries did we have? Let's see. We had 192 people enter. and paste. So now I'm going to share my screen. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Um, and I got to remove the title of the column first. And let me turn the volume up and paste. Uh-oh, I got a video so now I'm playing share in the my background. Screen. Hold on. I didn't even realize I had another screen open. Sorry about that. Um, what am I doing now? Turning my volume back up. 
And here goes our first winner. Wait, I need a post-it note. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the first one is going to be the Regency Park Designer Series paper. Wow. It's got a little hiccup there. Uh, Raylan. R-A-Y-E-L-Y-N. Okay, we're going to remove that one. The second one's going to be the Garden Walk Designer Series paper. Oh, goodness, where did her name go? Okay, hold on. S-H-A-N-A. -A. Oh. I tried to get rid of that ad. Okay, it starts with a T. I'll be able to look you up. Um, and then the third is... Okay, remind me to never try to close an ad in the middle of a... Or after a spin. Teresa... You get the pearls. What are these called? Uh, blooming pearls. And the final one is the roll of ribbon. I haven't had any chance to sew, so I don't have any any fabric trays or baskets or anything. Yeah, I wish I did. Judy, congrats. Okay, so I'm going to recap these, and then I'm going to need y'all to email me um, your address, and if you don't want it, um, that's okay too. Just tell me that you don't want it, okay? So, R-I-C-K, okay. So, recap, Judy, let me put the claim form up here real quick. Claim and you can also email me either way. You can email me or you can fill out that form. So ignore my chicken scratch. Judy, you won the ribbon. Teresa, the pearls. Shana, Shana, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Garden Walk and Raylan, Regency Park. Okay, so now we're going to sit here for a few minutes, and I'm just going to answer some questions and look back uh, and see what I missed. Uh, if I did, if you asked me a question earlier and I did not answer you, here's my help desk email. I'm doing a pretty good job of, of answering those, especially if it's a question I can answer. Um, yeah, sometimes there's questions that, that I get asked that there's, there's um, it's hard to answer. Y'all know what I mean? If you won, you can take a picture of this URL um, with your iPhone or smartphone. That way you'll have it um, to fill out the form, okay? So now I'm going to scroll back and look at the questions. Um, yeah, so Deborah, the, um, there's a serious lag uh, on the internet, um, even like if I go over, so right now I'm using a, a, a platform to go live on Facebook and YouTube, but if I hop over to YouTube right now, it's about 30 seconds behind my platform, and I don't know, there's really no rhyme or reason, there's no way to fix that, it is what it is, and if you watch any live videos, everybody will say, there is a lag, and it's a serious lag. Um, the stamp sets again that we used tonight were Hooray for Surprises and Submarine Life. Yeah, these are the two stamp sets. Um, we did use the bundle uh, for both of these. Remember, we cut out the little birthday cake. We cut out this. Um, yeah. And the other set of dies that we used, like if you look at this, we used the stylish shapes right here. We used the deckle circles. And we use the bright skies for the cloud. But all of those pieces are going to be die cut for you. I won't be die cutting the cake because we can't stamp images. I won't be die cutting this flower because we can't stamp the flower. 
uh, but the rest of them will, would be die cut for the class packets. Okay, let's see. Let me get past the... Um, oh, Bubble Bath is available now? Of course it is now that my March card club is shipped. <laughs> uh, this is an additional kit that I'm offering, yes. I'm trying to get my sales up for March. Um, yeah, like, I, I mean, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I keep saying my sales keep dropping and dropping and dropping and plummeting. So I'm just trying to find creative ways to, uh, to get my sales up. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start trying things. Uh, I am going to be doing an in color club and I'm going to be offering some type of fabric thing for those that participate the whole length of the in color club. Uh, I'm working on the details now. Yeah. So Lisa, the bubble bath is ready now. I think Stephanie said it's back in stock. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I can't help but to laugh about it. Uh, let's see. Yes, happy Easter to all of y'all too. So I'm just scrolling back. Uh, Debbie says she's allergic to eucalyptus. I know somebody else that is, but I can't remember who it is. Um, okay, I answered the question about the Card Club website. I am going to go ahead and remove this claim chick candy. Um, yes, thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, and someone asked me where I get my essential oils, to be honest. Uh, People send them to me. <laughs> In fact, I've got so many awesome gifts I've received. I feel terrible, terrible, but I really needed to. I really needed to show my projects tonight because of my sales. Uh, so I have a whole box. I have um, like three wow boxes of gifts from people. So I, yeah, I really need to show y'all uh, the boxes of gifts and the and the cards and everything. I have some fabulous stuff I need to show y'all. So probably next Tuesday because um, I won't, yeah, I won't be home until Tuesday and I'm going to be really stressed out Tuesday um, for that very reason. So I'll probably next Tuesday, we'll just show y'all all my loot. Maybe we'll make something really quick and easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't, I haven't bought essential oils in a long time. Most people give them to me. <laughs> Uh, Marilyn asked, did I get the paper pumpkin this month? I, well, I know I pay for it, but I don't know if I've gotten it yet. I'm sorry. I think I did. If y'all only saw how many paper pumpkin boxes I have, I have like um, a mountain, maybe a couple mountains of paper pumpkin. I think what I'm going to do is just sell them because I'm never going to get to it, right? Like the few times that I've done videos on it, then people were like, well, I didn't get that one. How do I get it? So it like turns, it takes a, a positive and turns it into a negative, right? And I can't handle that. Like I just, yeah. Um, let's see. Everybody like the little trimmer. If y'all need the link, just let me know. I will try to remember. You know what? Let me make myself a note. So when I do the blog post, I'll post the link to the trimmer. So post link to mini trimmer. I really do love it on on blog post. Yeah, so blog post. Okay, I'll add that to it. Um, let's see. I'm going to go all the way up to the top because, like I said, David's not here. So haven't heard the coyotes yet. Wonder what they're doing. Let's see. Oh, I got, there's a lot of comments here. Uh, okay, I'm so glad that y'all were able to see everything, even though I left that image on the screen. Uh, 
Yeah, the blends are only going up a dollar. So at least it's not like eggs and milk and cereal, where the cereal is half the box it used to be. It's doubled in price, tripled in price, and it has less cereal. So at least our blends are only going up a dollar and it still has the same quantity, right? It doesn't have that shrinkflation. Is that what it's called? Shrinkflation? I think that's the term. Um, yeah, and it's been a while since prices have increased, so. Uh. Okay, I'm, I, I see all those, I see all those, um, comments about removing the image. So sorry. Um, yes, I have a, they found a mass on my right kidney and all, all the CAT scans I've had every time it's continued to grow. I'm kind of hoping it hasn't because I'd really like to just not have surgery this year. I've had too much bad stuff happen this year. So I'm kind of terrified. Um, yeah, I kind of don't want to have surgery this year, but if it's grown, then I have to, because they said that that's usually, they think it's cancer. Yeah. But the good thing is it's still small. Well, it was a couple months ago. Um, okay, let's see. Let me get... Um, okay, I already answered that question. And if you have a question you want me to answer now, I will go back down to the bottom before I sign off. Um, I'm going to just zoom all the way to the top really quick just to see if there's anything up there. Um, I'm so glad that y'all got your card club packets because let me tell you, I tried tracking them all weekend and I was really freaking out because every time I clicked on the tracking, it went to a blank page and would not give me anything. And I was seriously freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no way I can replace everybody's card club packet. What am I going to do? Like I was afraid that they were lost somewhere. Um, but no, y'all are getting them. So thank goodness. So Mary Alice says that she joined card club today. Yay. I got a new person. Thank you. Um, I know that the the submarine is not going to be everyone's favorite, but, um, it's all happy. And we're in that transition period where, where product is going on the retirement list. This is carrying over to the new catalog. So I did choose a set that is going to be available for a whole nother year, right? Yeah. Um, Yeah, so Jill, this is not April Card Club. This is a whole special thing. Our Card Club projects are always secret. Yeah. Yeah, this is just for anybody and everybody. Like I'm, yeah, it's a completely separate thing than Card Club. Has no association with Card Club at all. Um, But it is the April stamp set, this one, yeah. Okay, I think I answered all the questions. Um, I didn't see many from Facebook, but um, I, I can always go back and answer the ones on Facebook afterwards. I can't in the chat box on YouTube. Uh, okay, what's going on with Debbie? What did I miss? Um, oh, you have a mass on yours too? Where did I get my watch band? On Amazon. I have this in pink black and white. If you want the link, just sit, shoot me an email, Colleen. But yeah, I got it. I got it on Amazon. I don't like like really thick stuff. Um, yeah, this is adjustable because, you know, us women, we gain weight and lose weight all the time, right? <laughs> the cake is from the Hooray for Surprises. Remember when I did the when, when, when this catalog first came out in January, I told y'all that I really loved this stamp set. Um, 
And I wasn't, I wasn't lying. Yeah, I really love it. I love the fonts of all the greetings. It's such a beautiful font. I wish I could write like that. Um, but the cake and the flower is both from Hooray for Surprises. And you could technically use this stamp set on this box. I just wanted to um, fit this in to show everybody the uh, stamp set for April. I think the cards are so, 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 so cute. And let me show y'all something. Um, on uh, I, One of the cards for Card Club has, um, has this. Um, so this makes the per a perfect balloon. So all you do is you just cut that. Now, of course, I cannot cut a straight line on a straight line, so I'm not the best at it, but, so here's your balloon. It looks better if I put it on another color. And then you just add some string below it. So there's you a balloon. So instead of a submarine and the Goodyear blimp, <laughs> you're right, it's supposed to be going this way. I see it now. <laughs> I didn't see it earlier. I see it now. Um, yeah, it should be like this. Oh, well, y'all can all just laugh at me. I, I'm used to being entertainment, right? Free entertainment. So this would be the, uh, the Goodyear blimp in this orientation. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, prayers for you too, Debbie. Yeah, I meant to say that. I am used to the coyotes. In fact, I kind of feel like they're back there with Bella. Like Bella and Gizmo are both um, back there in the berm. In fact, if y'all want to see a picture, um, wait, let me, let me show you, let me show you Olivia. Goodness gracious, my phone is so blown up with notifications. Look at Olivia. Isn't she so cute? Um, let me see if I can find the um, um, Bella's. Um, well, I forgot that I went to on stage and took like 5,000 photos with my phone. Um, her, her tombstone, her little, it's not really a tombstone, her little marker, here it is. So this is Bella's. And she's on in the berm back there. And then here's Gizmos. So they're both back there. So I kind of feel like the coyotes living back there. They're kind of they're kind of back there with them, right? Uh yes, hobby demos can order from me. Absolutely. Yep. Yes, indeed. Um, how do you get the kit? Um did I, I posted the link in the chat box to it. Yeah, I posted the link in the chat box. And also on my blog post tomorrow, I'll have this video on my blog. So all three of these will have pictures on my website and, um, and it'll have all the details on how to get the PDF and how to um, order the class packet. Yeah, I'll have all the details on my blog tomorrow. I tried really hard to get it done today, but huh. I couldn't do it. I couldn't match. Hi, Randy. How are you doing? Um. Oh, you know, I just noticed. Becky, were you not here tonight? I'm looking for Becky. Hopefully she's doing okay. Uh, okay, so Pam says she's in this. She's in trouble too. Okay, what are y'all in trouble about? Oh, yeah, Easter's next this coming weekend. Yeah, I thought I had another week, too. In fact, I bought all kinds of Easter candy to show y'all more Easter projects. And then I ran out of time. So now that husband, my, that husband, now my husband can eat the candy. He keeps coming in here threatening to take it. I'm like, no, I got to film videos. So now he can, um, he can, he can have it. I have not eaten dinner. no. But I did have 
That's why I'm so chatty. I had a, a I had an espresso and um, about 10 Pringles at four o'clock. Yeah, I had an espresso and some Pringles. Um, let's see. Lisa said she ordered it because she remembered me saying it. Yeah, and I did a couple other projects too earlier. Um, I don't remember what, what they were, but I know I've used it before, right? Uh, any chance you might do a cutting fabric video? Uh, Gail, I did one cutting fabric video. And I'm going to get you the link real quick because let me tell you um, how I cut fabric, I think, is going to blow your mind. Like, I think you're going to be, I think you're really going to like it. I mean, I don't mind telling you, you don't even have to watch the video. I use my really big, 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 big ruler. It measures 12 by 24. And you know, uh, the width of fabric is 22 typically. I don't even have to use the mat anymore to like um, guide it. So in my video, I can't remember which video. Um, so Gail, I did say I was gonna post it in the link, but I better not post it in the link. Um, if you're still here, Gail, shoot me an email and I will give you the link to that video where I show cutting the fabric. What, what I did was is I was cutting the fabric to make a um, basket and I actually showed cutting the fabric. I don't cut fabric very often on video because it you kind of need the whole desk and I usually just, you know, have a, a short, short a small space, uh, but I do have it in one of those videos. So I don't know if I have a, your email address, but I do have it I don't want to go over to YouTube and mess up my channel because if I sign out of this channel and sign into my sewing channel, it might kick me out of here. Yeah. Yes, hobby demonstrators can order from me. Yeah. In fact, I think I actually have, I don't know, I'd have to do a survey, but I actually think that I might have more demonstrators that are card club members than I have customers that are not demonstrators. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I do because I see y'all on here. Like I see y'all's names. I think a, a lot of my card club members are actually stamping up demonstrators. Oh, Randy, I so enjoyed on stage. It was, it was exactly what I needed to heal my heart and to like just be around all of y'all and just Oh, it was just, I don't even have one bad thing to say about on stage. Like it was just so lovely. It was, everyone was so nice. Not that people have not been nice and before, but it's been so long since I've been to an event. Like, I, I want to say it was like, what, either 2018 or 2019? It's been a long time. Yeah. So, it was so awesome. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. And now I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. Probably a sandwich. I don't feel like cooking, right? The Easter egg stamp set is a good one, but that one is retiring, sadly. Yeah, it's retiring. Thank you, Yvette. Yes, you do. Okay, so don't forget, I need y'all's address for the people that won the live prizes. Don't forget to enter to win the YouTube Chick Candy. As soon as I sign off, that will be available uh, to do. And uh, check out my blog post tomorrow for all the details about these projects. Y'all have a great weekend. Have a happy Easter. And um, I'll see you next next Tuesday. Uh, Judy asked that I finish Olivia's quilt. I did. I In fact, I've made her three quilts now. Yeah, I've made her three. I just gave her another new one um, last month. I gave her, it was like her early Easter present. Uh, Yvette, yes, I'm going to Raleigh next year. Absolutely. And I have a bunch of downline that said they're going too. So I'm really excited. I think I'm going to have even a bigger crowd uh, next year. Yeah, I'm excited. And I've, I've never, well, I've been to Raleigh, but I was a child. So I'm looking forward to going as an adult. Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you so much.